Dr. Christy Ennis, physical therapist, certified strength and conditioning specialist, and nutritionist. And today I want to go over five body weight exercises that actually work the entire body. So how cool is that? You don't need any equipment except for a comfy, smushy mat if you've got one, and your own body. And you get to work the entire body in a pretty quick time frame. So let's get started. First one is going to be lying on the back. Squeeze those buttons together. Engage those abs by pulling that belly button in. Lift that butt up, and now we're adding a march. If you need to, you just start with just a regular bridge. This is an advanced or a more advanced version, and then I really need to keep those hips steady as I go. Goal would be to try to do 10 on each side and to do two sets of everything. If you're just starting, stick with one set. And I'm going to come right on back up off the ground, over to the wall. You can do this on a wall or a door or anything handy dandy that you have that's solid. We're going to start with a wall sit. And you are going to sit. This may be that bring back uh, elementary school days, fun stuff, great quad burning. If that's easy, ooh, here we go, there are some skills coming. One leg, ooh. start for 30 seconds or so, and then switch and do 30 seconds on that other leg. And I am telling you, I'm feeling that burn right now. And so I'm going to come right on up. Next is a push-up. And we're going we're gonna to do the push-up wide and narrow. So you can do it on a bar, a counter, on your knees, or a full push-up. That's why this is a great exercise, because you can modify it in multiple ways. But you're going to alternate. So we'll do <clears throat> right in that push-up position. A wider push-up gets more of the chest. And then if we bring those hands in a little and bring those elbows straight back, that's going to get those triceps. So if you want to work abs and arms at the same time, you are going to alternate. Woo! And this makes you use those abs even more. You can do five in one position and five in another if you don't want to add that little extra swing in there. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I'm going to get right back down on that ground again. This one, hands are going to stay down by your side. Make sure those abs are still engaged. Legs are going to come up. We're going to go a little reverse crunch up towards the ceiling, and then alternate dropping one leg at a time. Little tiny lift using those lower abs. Make sure that you're doing that. And lift. And drop. One more. There we go. And then I'm going to flip right on over to my stomach so that we really make sure we get some of that posterior, all those posture muscles, and a little bit of more into the glute. You can have a towel right in front of your head if you need to for breathing purposes. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to squeeze into those shoulder blades. And I'm going to lift. I'm just going to move a little bit. I'm in a Y position, right? So my arms are not straight out front, not straight out to the side. Squeeze into those shoulder blades. Lift. Lift into those lower legs. Lift into those shoulders. Make sure you're not hiking those shoulders up. That's what's going to give you that full body stability motion. And yes, my legs don't lift that high. Yours probably lift higher than mine do. We all have our things we need to work on. So there you have it. Five exercises, total body. Shoot for 10 repetitions one to two sets as you feel comfortable progressing. And thank you so much for tuning in today. Have a great day.